I know you just said you have to listen to your body and, and mm -hmm. um, your age and your experience and so forth. But in your case, or in our case, in our forties, what would you say is the optimum amount of time to train per week? Because I want to train every day. We all want to train every day, actually, and we have to yeah. take time off. Well, uh, how do I train? Okay, um, you know, I, I always have people visiting me, and being a teacher, I I know uh, the students what what they mind. You know, like some uh, with the experience of the years, like I I can feel the way they they approach. So like I said, you know, I'll train every day a little bit with the right person and the right amount. It's not like, oh, I'm going to do 10 rows today because I feel good. I want to feel good every day. Because if I do too much today, tomorrow I'm not doing. So you have to like do a little bit of exercise a little bit. I think uh, I hate to lift weight or do conditioning and stuff, like that, but it's important because protect your joints, you know, your muscles maintain strong and then protect your joints, you know. Nothing heavy, just a, a right amount, a good repetition and a two, three times a week, okay. A little bit of cardio, so I don't like to run, so I prefer a jump rope or maybe swimming a little bit. Or maybe even walk in the treadmill because sometimes you run too much, start hurt the lower back and stuff like that. But get my body move every day a little bit in the morning for maybe 20 minutes. I usually do maybe five, 10 minutes walk in the treadmill and 20, 30 minutes wait and a little bit. And try switch some days with bands, some days kettlebells, some days free weights. So just feel like a Nothing like specific to be a uh, super shape. Just and training with the people. I really enjoy training with the black belts because they're more technical, or at least the brown or black. And with the girls, because so the you girls you don't roll as much with, with blues and purples anymore. A little bit, a little bit. Some days, but with the girls, the reason with the girls because I'm strong enough and I can let them move around and whenever I just push them away and switch the situation. You know what I mean? So I get the chance to let them attack and I'll be able to move and they're more flexible. They, they try more moves. They come right away and I have enough strength to break the position when the situation different. But sometimes you, you roll with the blue belts and purple belts and they try to show off, and next thing you know, you see he try to wrist lock and say, hey, take it easy, my man, you know, like, it's nothing like I say, should not, but so you want to go in that way, so, you know, so I, so it's better when you roll, you know, I, I get so many people visiting, and in my school, a lot of black belts, so they already know, they take it easy, let's roll, but like I said, if you want to go to the tournament, a few days, you have to actually push. Yeah. So, so, Professor, I'm on testosterone replacement therapy, mm. which I, I started just, to, I'd been doing jiu-jitsu for about six months and I was just getting smashed all the time. <laughs> and it was just, the first six months of jiu-jitsu was terrible and I could only train a couple of times a week with it and I could barely get out of bed the next day. And then the doctor prescribed me the testosterone and, and all of a sudden I can train five, six times a week again. Yeah, yeah. And I don't get, do you have an opinion on that for the, for the older grappler or? Well, I guess like, you know, uh, I think you, because you start already in the old age, and the problem with Jiu Jitsu is your body start bent on the direction they never did. So you start feel like something you never feel, the joints and the muscles, like I said, what is this, man? How this hurt, you know? I probably lift the weight and exercise my whole life, but why I hurt in that place? So I think for a, helping out your body to adjust and maybe you should try once or twice a week and do some yoga just to relax your muscles until your body start get more like a uh, fit for jiu-jitsu because yoga usually they work in the whole body 
So you gotta lose a little bit of your joints because Jiu-Jitsu definitely bend your body on the weird positions you never ever figure out you ever gonna do that. So with the yoga, I think it will help you because you have to be in some different positions and adjust your body through there. So you help with flexibility and breathing and you know you feel better. I think so. Hmm?